welcome back to the second part of my build of the ultimate ghost detector. In this episode I built the spirit box that is part of the ghost trap system. A spirit or ghost box is a device that should allow investigators to communicate with spirits using radio frequencies. As spirits are seemingly unable to just pick one frequency, stick to it and speak clearly, they must instead speak on lots of different ones succession in cryptic syntax. So we need some kind of radio receiver that scans frequencies over and over without stopping. So I came up with this drawing, what I call the advanced spirit box circuit. The conjunction sheet is downloadable for free, such as the Arduino code. Now my first idea was to simply modify a store-bought radio. So I drove to my next electronic store and see what I could find. This shower radio seemed ideal to me, as it also had a PIR motion sensor. At this moment I came up with the idea why not building a ghost trap that can react to motion, but more to this in the next episode. Now I heard that there are certain pocket radios that can be modified by simply cutting off or shortening out a particular pin on the main chip that keeps the radio remain in scan mode even if it has found a station. So other than a normal radio it will scan through the frequencies over and over again. Anyway I thought I could modify this radio by controlling the tuner pin with an Arduino. Unfortunately it came out that this radio has an analog tuning capacitor. With other words, I just threw out 14 bucks for a radio that will not be usable for my purposes. After some research on Google I found this little FM radio shield um, to be used with an Arduino. I also ordered some more components for the circuit that I will list in the description below. This build will approximately cost around 25 euros or 34 um, US dollars for the components. Now some days have passed as I finally got this little package in my mail. And here is what I got for building the advanced spirit box circuit. We need one amplifier with speaker. In my case, to not totally waste the shower radio, I will use the amp and speaker out of it. You get very cheap little 1 watt amps on eBay. Then we need an Arduino board. It doesn't matter which one, I used an Arduino Uno for testing and a Arduino Nano for the build. The TEA5767 FM radio board, a TM1637 4-digit LED display, four two-state switches and two 10K potentiometers. Also some cables, a breadboard with jumper wires, some shrink tubing, a soldering iron and some solder. Now, hooking everything up is quite easy when you follow the schematic that you can download for absolutely free on my webpage. Link is in the description below. No registration or such things are required. You're welcome. Also, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please subscribe and uh, ring the bell so you never miss my newest uploads. Leave me a thumbs up and a comment. Don't forget the chance of winning a free EMF ghost detector with personal engraving. Details and information you find in the first part of this series about the ultimate ghost detector. Okay, so I said I am calling this device the advanced spirit box and here's why. We have our FM radio board our amplifier and speaker, and a display that should show us the frequencies we are scrolling through. Now what do we need to have control of? Sure we need a power switch for powering the unit. I want to add several scan functions. A forward mode, which scans from 75 to 1100 MHz. Additionally I add a reverse switch to reverse the scan function, so the radio scans from 1100 to 75 MHz. And not enough with that, I am adding a random switch that generates a random scan through the frequencies. We should sure need a volume knob and a knob we can adjust the scan speed in all three functions. And here is my free code for you. We first initialize all our components. Define our inputs for the three switches and the speed potentiometer. This defines the scan direction. For the switch pin in this case, this is forward. And for switch pin 2, this is backwards. Switch pin 1 is where we want to connect our random switch. So the Arduino board will generate random numbers between 75 and 1100. On the display you see the three modes, forward, random and reverse.
Also, our potentiometer is working smoothly for in or decreasing the scan speeds. Now, soldering together all the parts is a little fiddly, but uh, if you solder piece by piece, you should keep track of what cable belongs where. I shrink tube all the connections, as my housing will be pretty compact later, and I don't want things to shorten out. I am not showing you in detail how I hook up the little shower radio amp, as yours might look totally different anyways. I simply solder it the radio output to the amp's input, unsolder it the uh, volume potentiometer to extend the cables to make it an easy fit into my housing later on. And there you have it, the next main component of the Ultimate Ghost Detector is finished. And this is how it works. Switch on the detector unit, switch on the spirit box circuit and choose a mode. Forward, reverse, and random. Simply change the speed with the speed knob and control the volume with the volume knob. In the next and final episode, I will finish up the unit integrating a green laser grid, a microwave detector and laser cut the housing for all the circuitry. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and thumbs up. Until then, see ya!